Hi, Dr. Ammerman here. Um, I just wanted to take a moment and welcome everyone to our Veterans Day program. I want to say thank you to our music department, even under the conditions of uh, virtual learning, that we have been able to continue several traditions here at Crosby. And one of those traditions being our Veterans Day program. Um, this one is really special and I appreciate the thought and effort going in behind this to recognize our veterans here at Crosby um, and also veterans that are close to our Crosby family, whether that's students um, who have relatives or parents who are veterans and so on. So I'm very excited to continue this program and appreciate, like I said, all of the thought and effort going in behind this. And um, I obviously want to thank our veterans that um, have done so much and continue to do um, a variety of things for our country. So I hope that you enjoy the program and thank you. It's just not enough, but um, I believe this program will definitely show and honor our veterans. Thank you so much. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch or so gallantly streaming and the rockets traditional shaker song. We celebrate Veterans Day on November 11th. We celebrate because World War I was ended on the 11th day of the 11th month at 11 in the morning in 1918. World, World War I was known as the war to end all wars because of all the death and destruction it caused. The day was originally declared Armistice Day, eight years after World War I, and honored only veterans of that war. Then, in 1954, after World War II and the Korean War, it was renamed Veterans Day to honor all veterans who served in America in war. Today, we are here in memory of our veterans, the ones who have passed and the ones who are still here today. A hero is someone who has given his or her life to something bigger than oneself, Joseph Campbell. 
Veterans are our heroes. We don't know them all, but we owe them all by never forgetting their sacrifices. There are over 22 million Americans alive today that have served in the U.S. Armed Forces. So thank one, just by a card, text, or a prayer. Thank you all for listening, and happy Veterans Day. Hi guys, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Mr. D, security and head football coach here at Crosby Middle School, but I'm also a 15 year veteran of the United States Navy. During my time in the Navy, I've traveled to places that people only dream of going. The Navy has instilled in me a sense of honor, courage, and commitment. That is why I, along with my fellow veterans, Mr. Herp of the Army, Mr. Barnes' father of the Marines, and Mr. Durbin, also of the Navy, we push our students to give it their best effort, be respectful to others, and to be responsible for your actions. That is why I, along with them, want to pass on these values from the military to each and every one of you on this Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you.